Like what would like, you like the most out of this one? The fact that we won. <laughs> Anything else specifically? Boy, there's a lot, you know. I mean, I thought we bunted well. I thought Maddox Maloney played real well, first career home run. Um, I thought Grayson gave us a good start. Ryan Featherston came in at the end, pitched very, very well. Um, you know, uh, I thought that it was, you know, pretty complete in terms of offense. We were able to, to um, pull away at the end. I thought that was really good. Bennett Thompson had a heck of a, a heck of a night as well. Uh, Drew Smith, you know, a couple of uh, very good at bats, good swings. Even Jacob Walsh at the very end uh, with a versatile lefty, got an RBI single uh, in that spot, buried in a two strike count. I thought that was mature and older. Um, so yeah, a lot to like. Message now, just keep your foot on the gas, finish it the right way. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if that was said exactly like that, but basically, sure. So, what you? How did you feel about Maddox's performance? You know, he's getting a little bit more playing time now with Cooney a little banged up, but you know, how, how are you? Uh, Cooney's healthy. Oh, I apologize. Yeah, no, Cooney's healthy. He's a good player, too. Maddox wasn't healthy, and so he wasn't playing because he wasn't healthy. Uh, but Cooney's healthy. Um, you know, and we don't have an issue there. Um, you know, Ryan's a really good player, too. You know, both those guys are really good players, as you've seen. Second night in a row, the offense kind of gets going there. You said yesterday you'd like to go back and do the tape, see what it looks like. What did you see from yesterday, and how do you feel like that translated into today? Um, I think at bats are getting older. I still see doubt in some situations that I'd like to clean up, you know, and they're young, you know, they're, they're young. And so at times you can see some doubt in them. Um, but I see that progressing and getting better. Um, again, we'll take a peek tonight and see what tonight really looked like when it comes to the tape. But, you know, even on the first, I think I indicated too, even on the first night where I wasn't real excited while we met after the game about how our at bats went, the tape showed that they were much better than, than I thought. So I don't, I, I just see that we're sustaining, we're able to sustain, sustain some things right now, which is nice. What, what do you mean specifically by doubt? Is it more like just from like the hitter's perspective against the pitcher, like not having confidence, or is it something else? Yeah, I think so. You know, I don't know how else to put it. I think you put it well. Maddox is another local kid, and obviously you've got a million things you worry about rather than feel good stories like that. But kind of what, how far back does the relationship go with him? And, um, you know, is he a guy who's out here a lot, you know, as a fan? And just what's it like to see a guy who's from around here have, have a day like you today? Well, his grandpa played at Oregon okay. and was a duck, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, that family is a tremendous family. I can't go into too much depth uh, with some things, but I can say this much. He's, he was a guy that, we were excited to get. We had to win a major recruiting battle to get him. Um, he's a very good in-state player, and you know those in-state players, we want to, them to play here. You know, um, and so we we're happy to have him. And you know, Ryan Cooney's an in-state player. Both those guys, you had to win a lot of recruiting battles to get those kind of players. You know, Bennett Thompson's an in-state player. You know, those guys are really, really good. You know, Mike Friend played down the road uh, in-state. Austin Anderson played in-state. You know, these are guys that are heart and soul of the program type guys that um, you know. Have, have been very successful as Ducks, and, and that's it's fun to have in-state players playing here. Where, where have you kind of seen Maloney's game improve the most over the past couple weeks? What, what have you been most happy with with him? His health. When he's healthy, he's been he he's done what you're seeing when he was healthy. Mm -hmm. And so when he was unhealthy, it was disappointing for all of us because his teammates feed off of him. He's a great person. I think, you know, I don't know if I can go into grades, but he's a tremendous student. Um, he's a very well-rounded young man, um, and so, I mean, he just works his tail off. He's going to have nothing but support from his teammates and coaches, and, you know, this kid's a winner. You know, the, the, the freshmen, him, Cooney, those guys are winners. Those are good, good players with the right brains on their head. Yeah, what, what is that kind of competition like at this point for those middle infield spots and really the whole infield, I guess? Well, I mean, I think throughout the course of the season, you're going to have guys get hot and maybe kind of cool off a little bit and go through some struggles, maybe have some injury stuff, you know. Um, and so when you have some injuries, then you, you, you rotate guys through. The key is just to keep those guys sharp and ready to where when they get their opportunity. I mean, the real credit goes Coach Hankel, Coach Martyr for getting, uh, and Gavin Grant for getting Maddox Maloney ready after an injury to be able to come out of an injury and do what they're doing. Those coaches deserve uh, a tip of the cap as well, uh, uh, along with the player, because the player had to invest so much time and to get himself prepared when he's not getting game at bats. And so now all of a sudden he's hitting fastballs at 93. You know, his first hit that he got at Arizona State was against a guy throwing 97 miles an hour, left-hander, and he, he goes one for one in that game. It's a big hit. For, for him to be ready for those at bats uh, says that his investment is tremendous. And then those three coaches specifically, and four with Brett Thomas, um, you know, when it, when it comes to the analytics of it, Brett, 
uh, supplies a lot of information to those coaches to where those guys can get a plan together to help these kids. And, and those four people just as a whole uh, really deserve a lot of credit with Maddox's development. Pretty well into the season now. I mean, what are you loving about this team so far? I like to be with them on a daily basis. They like to play baseball, and they're looking for guidance, and that's how we can help them. Um, I like being a part of their growth. You know, as you can tell, you know, you've got we – we spent plenty of time on the other freshmen, and, and yet Ryan Featherston's out there. You know, Grayson Grensel's the old man, and Grayson's in his second year. And so, you know, there's, there's a lot of really good young players in this program, which is fun because they bring energy to the ballpark, and they're just saying, hey, help us understand what we're doing right now and what we're going through and what's coming, and, and that's our role as coaches. What, what do you make of Grayson's day today? Solid day. You know, I mean, Grayson's a guy that um, is tough to hit, and we're happy to be able to um, just get another quality start. We've, we've got some quality starts now strung together, and that's nice to see. You were looking for that well, those quality starts to start stringing together here. You've gotten a, b a bunch recently from from all your starters. Just how does that help you overall as, as a coach to see these guys go out there and get you five, six innings? Well, it's it's just like you guys up in the press box. When you see that, it's it gives you something to write about because it's good. And for us, it it it, uh, it gives us a little bit of uh, um, I, I don't know about comfort, but just. It gives you a feeling that the game is manageable and under control, I guess. When you when you have things that are um, quality starts show up, then you're able to use your bullpen probably on your best case scenario planning before the games versus your worst case scenario when you get a bad start, which is never a comfortable seat. We, we talk a lot about Bryce for a lot of good reasons. Made another highlight play out there today. Just, just you working with the outfielder specifically, what's it like to see him work defensively in center field? It's pretty spectacular watching our practices with the outfielders. The, the plays they make in practice like dwarf what we see on game day a lot of times. And, and the one that he made tonight, the diving play in center field, and then comes up and throws this guy out at first base, he's got 20-something stitches in his hand right now. Yeah, that's who that guy is. He's an unbelievable tough kid, and yet practices with those guys in the outfield. I'm just blessed that they call me the outfield coach because standing out there with those guys and working with those guys and watching them rob home run balls and diving catches and stuff, they're just really good and they're very talented. And so it's just it's a lot of fun being an outfield coach with those guys. We played Jack Brooks now recently in the outfield too. That guy's crashing in the walls making highlight reel plays during practice and during uh, prep. So um, there's good options out there, which is nice to have. And then go, going from Colby last year, last who was also his, you know, a really good defensive center fielder, just you, as the outfield coach, like you said, just having those two guys back to back in successive years, just like, how does that just, you build your defense around it? Just, how, how do you go about doing that? Well, there's a standard set right now with really good defensive players in the outfield, and so they don't just go out there with their bat in their hand. They, they're they thinking, how can I change a game defensively? You know, um, last night Masonville made a catch in left field towards the line that nobody even talked about, um, and it was an unbelievable play and a really challenging play with the weather conditions we had last night. Uh, those guys are really, really good at moving around the outfield. It's, it's a blessing to have those guys. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm glad you recognize that.